presentation I study for the bar exam. This is a question that a lot of students ask us um, because they're curious. They don't want to study you know, too little for the bar exam and then end up regretting it later. Typically, we recommend that students treat studying like a full-time job. So if you study about eight hours a day, about five days a week, you should probably be putting enough hours to pass the bar exam. However, there are a couple of things to keep in mind. For example, if you did not do well your first year of law school, or if you really struggled in law school, particularly in the first year, then you might have to put in more hours or more days um, to make sure that you're catching up and you're able to pass the bar exam. Versus if you did really well in law school, you graduated at the top of your class or something like that, then you can put in less hours and probably still pass the bar exam. So keep that in mind. Another thing that might affect how much you can study is if you have other full-time obligations, such as a full-time job. If you are working full-time, then obviously you're not going to be able to put in eight hours a day when you study. So the best thing to do if you're working full-time is to try to find a very productive period of time in your day. Like for example, uh, a lot of our students who work full-time find that they're really productive in the morning. So we tell them to wake up early and put in a few hours at their best time. Um, I had a student who really, really wanted to pass the bar exam. He was really committed. He woke up at 4 a.m. every day and he studied from 4 a.m. till 7 a.m. Then he went to work um, and he put in his you know, best hours at his best time, which was the morning. Some students find it more helpful to study at night. But if you identify your best time of day, you have a very set to-do list, and you make sure that you're productive during that time, you can pass the bar exam even if you are studying less hours uh, during the week. You will kind of be burning the candle at both ends, uh, but it's very possible to do. Lastly, we don't recommend that you study 12 hours a day without a break. Some students will brag about spending all day in the library from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and never taking a day off, and honestly, they're probably in the library, but they're probably not studying. Or if they are studying, it's not that productive. Uh, after a certain period of time, diminishing returns set in, your brain can only concentrate and focus for so long. So I'd recommend that you start, you know, you study a little bit less every day, but you make that studying really high quality. So if you want to go to the library, go for a couple hours, take a break, you know, get back to studying. But taking breaks, making sure that you're, you know, studying right and efficiently is going to be much more important than just putting in a certain number of hours every day um, when a lot of those hours will end up being unproductive. I also recommend that you take a day off every week if you can. And if you're studying full time rather than working full time or engaging in other full time obligations, then this is very possible. A day off or even a half a day off or some kind of dedicated period of time to rest will help motivate you and uh, get you geared up to prepare for the upcoming week. So hopefully this answers the question of how many hours you should study a day.